Our wall is 1100. My gloved hands are already super hot. Middle of the fires, ooh, getting up to 1800. My gloves are melting, 77 on the thin wall, 63 on the wet thin wall. Still at 61 on the back. 61, 61 everywhere. How's the back feel? It's fine. We're assessing the aftermath here. We've got um, vitrified clay that was fairly durable to get through. Um, so what I think this is telling us is the longer we go on the fire rating test, the better we'll do when the hose hits it. <laughs> yeah, because it was really durable for this first little bit. And then it started to, or, or then it started to go faster. It's like clean water, clean water, clean water without too much stuff. And then when it busts through this like three and a half, four inches of vitrified clay, all of a sudden it's like, yeah, this is mushy, wet cob. This is pottery. And this is pottery. It looks like this vitrified like an inch in or something. Uh, so overall, I would say this is an extremely encouraging response result and one that um, makes me fairly confident. Also, even though there's the big fire hose is like 250 gallons a minute at 100 psi, it's 25 feet away. Right. I was like inside the wall right. when I was finishing. And instead of being a square foot, like these holes are inches. Right. You know, that's like a two inch hole. Wire's fine, straw is fine, monolithic is fine, and fire hose seems to be fine. So I think we could go for the 10 hour test. Run it till insulation failure. Tell them to do it till the backside comes up 180 degrees Celsius and then fit it with all they've got.